Fly brains are smaller than a grain of rice, yet they're able to react faster and more effectively to visual stimuli than humans. So how do they do it? What's going on in those little brains? And most importantly, how do we use this information? Hi, I'm Marissa. And hi, I'm Karen. And by using electrophysiology to study fly brains, we can help other scientists develop new guidance systems for drones. Okay, so electrophysiology sounds complicated and would be an awesome Scrabble word, but put simply, we're analyzing electrical signals in fly brains to work out how they think. So our first challenge is developing apparatus that's small enough to measure these tiny fly brains. That's where this tiny glass electrode comes in. We insert the glass electrode into the back of the fly's head. This electrode feeds back the reactions of the neurons inside the fly's brain when it encounters visual stimuli. With the electrode in place, it's time to show the fly some visual stimuli. Think of it like we're sitting the fly down in front of a movie. We can be sure the fly is engaged in the stimulus because unlike us humans, fly eyes do not move independently of their heads. So if their head is facing forward, their eyes are looking ahead too. The vision we show the fly makes it seem like it's flying through an environment. So we can record the brain waves the fly uses when it's negotiating a new area, avoiding obstacles and seeking a target. This test can last anywhere from a couple of minutes to several hours, depending on how healthy the recording of brain activity is. During this test, an oscilloscope records the results and sends it to this computer. Oscilloscopes are used to measure changes in electrical signals over time. In this case, it measures the changing electrical signals fired out by the fly's brain as it responds to visual stimuli. By analysing these signal changes, we can see how quickly the fly reacted, how big the reaction was and how the fly adapts over time. We quickly discovered that flies can identify a target against a busy background much better than we humans can. And this ability could be very useful for certain machines. Because autonomous drones need to be able to travel through a new environment and quickly recognize obstacles and identify targets. Our goal is to apply the principles of fly vision to these new machines. So the next generation of drones will be fly-brained. In a good way.